We're Diane and Jerry and we are 12 days into a 13 day tour of central and northern Washington state, stopping at seven stops along the way in the 13 days. We're at Razor State Park. It's R-A-S-A-R. -A -A and it was formerly a farm that became a campground. So there's a big field. So that's been one little bit of a bummer while we've been at Razor is that there's some construction going on right behind our campsite. So there's this noise. Is it hard to find? No, it is just right off Highway 20. In fact, it's kind of on a grid. We missed the turn the first time. We were gonna turn on Russell and we missed it. And so you can just take a number of other roads and it still leads you back here. You just have to get off of the highway and back to the park. The signs for the park are very small though, so you gotta make sure that you keep an eye out for those signs. This is a state park, so it's owned by the state of Washington. We came here during peak season, but I'm a person with disabilities, so we get a discount. So it all kind of evened out to be a low price for us, but it would be medium price for other people. You do wanna check out all the different discounts that the state offers. There's toilets and showers here. It was quite the walk to the bathroom though. Our campsite was 30 and it was about as far from the bathroom as you could be. Just make sure you're thinking about that when you reserve a site is how far it is from the restroom. Uh, they did not have tent pads here. However, there was a nice level area and the ground seems to be covered in like rocks and pine needles. We had power, we have water, but there is no sewer here. So we have to go use a dump station on our way out. See the little bunny rabbit at the bottom of the stop sign. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. Oh, he's stretched. There was a stretch. There is a camp host. That camp host was off duty the whole time we were here. The The ranger station where you check in was only open one hour a day on the weekdays from 10 to 11 o'clock. And so this was pretty much just self-help. Like we came in, you had to put your receipt in your window and park. And we haven't interacted with anybody. I saw the camp post, I think, go by and put the next reservation up for the people that are coming after us. But other than that, it was um, it was self-service. They have all the self-service stuff on the booth so you can figure out how to get yourself checked in. We had fire pit and a, um, a picnic table. The Wi-Fi was one or two bars the whole time we were here. We were camping in July of 2023. Um, the thing to do here is there are a lot of trails and so I actually went down a bunch of, well, a couple of them. There's lots of walking trails.
ADA trail that you can take even if you have a mobility device. I saw people um, camping here who were older or disabled because you can get around, which is really cool. There's a day use area that uh, has a lot of picnic tables. <laughs> Activities here is fishing. Jerry went fishing for a whole day. The campground backs up onto the Skagit River and so lots of people fishing and I tested out the slide to make sure it worked. to do here is up this up on highway 20 there is a wildlife overlook and when when we went by there were three elk they have rocky mountain elk here this is the wildlife viewing area there are three elk there's one bedded down and two grazing I felt graze oh the bedded down one's moving up, oh, she's up. See her right there now, she's grazing. Outside out. Oh, it's turning around. The weather while we were here was mild. It has been lows in the 50s and highs in the 70s in July. So we have been comfortable in pants while we were here. We were in shorts while we were in eastern Washington. It is a little bit cooler here. There's a station where you can buy wood and it also has a dumpster. This is a great jumping off point for people that are going to do things in the North Cascades or in the National Forest here. So um, I guess that's one of the things that people do is they camp here and then go up in the Cascades and come back down to sleep. There were three grocery stores um, two that were like gas stations with a grocery store and uh, an okay sized grocery store in town. Um, there's also uh, a store that resells stuff from Costco. So if you were too far out for a Costco run, you can go buy the stuff there. So that's kind of interesting. We did go in all the way into town. We went into Burlington to go to the movies. So it was about a half hour drive. So if you wanted to go do something in the city, you can actually do that while you're here. And so it's like a half hour to the mountains, a half hour to the city. So you're just smack dab in the middle. It's kind of a good spot. Check out this video of another campground we visited with this video that YouTube picked out just for you. <laughs> 